Um, then there was faith. Okay. Faith, faith, Evans. Our first album. I did one song on that. Don't be afraid. Now I remember that. <laughs> yeah. Now, I, I, I mean, what was it like? I mean, I mean, as I said, I can hear her all over. Um, cry, um, smile again. You can hear her backgrounds and and her, and her vocals. Yeah, yeah. What did you make? Because I know people were comparing her to me, but there were two different types of singers and different types of emotions. But what was it like for you working with her? Faith is faith. Uh, just just for a uh, sake of uh, sake of um, expression. Excuse me. She takes <laughs> you back to church. Mm -hmm. Um. So much so. So much. Um. So so many skills in her in her delivery. She has the ability to do anything that she wants to do, and vocally, and it was an amazing experience. So you know, I knew Faith before we connected at Bad Boy. I've knew Faith for a long time. I knew Faith from back in the day with Three Boys in Newark. So okay. we we were like we we actually we we still talk every now and again. Okay. Okay. So yeah, so uh, uh, okay. now by the time you 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 were doing work um you just done Usher, you've done some work with Faith. Um you're getting your names are listening on the credits. But uh, and, and is anyone telling you, you know, people who have been in the game longer about, hey, man, have you, you got your lawyer? Have you sort of this out? Does anyone not sort of pull you aside and tell you just make sure you have this sorted out? Or do you, does everyone just know the trick to see what's going on, but they just keep to themselves? That is to with, um, by the time, by the time I left, finished with Bad Boy, I got a, a management team. So when the management team had a had a, a attorney that they referred me referred to me and I used that attorney. So I was for the most part I was covered from that point on. Okay. But okay. to be totally transparent with you, I still wasn't tapping into my worth. I wasn't tapping into the knowledge and becoming more knowledgeable of the business. I was just again just I was a nut, <laughs> you know what I'm saying? I was just so happy to be working, man, like and doing what I love. But, mm. you know, of course, you know, you. I was very passionate. And today, so many years later, I still am passionate, but I'm also knowledgeable of the business. And that's that's the difference. You know, sometimes you have those hard times so you can have better times. Um, yeah. Unfortunately, it happens to black artists and producers more often than um, any other gen um, race, more sure. often. Um, and just from experience, I know that if you were in country or pop rock, you probably would get it more likely you get most of the information from day one. They'll actually... Um, I don't know if you remember the production group Show Shock and Colin. I've heard them before. I heard that name before. Yeah, they did um, Do for Love with Tupac, and they did Monica's Don't Take a Personal. No, no, Don't Take a Personal. Uh, just one of those things, and they did um, um, Heartbreak Hotel with Whitney. Been. Yeah, they, 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 they. Uh, when I interviewed them, they, they learned about the business when they were in the native Denmark and they, you know, publishing the whole stuff early on. So before they moved to the U S they already known, they've already been told everything. So it, 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 they were given the label says, have you thought of this out? So that's why it's, it's just sad that actually most black artists are not given the labels on talking to them up front and says, have you learned about this and sort this out, get yourself a lawyer and learn the business um so that's 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 always that disappointment um but you um after you've done your stuff with faith now who else because 
we, I know you're doing your stuff solo, but were other hitmen slowly joining in because Puffy had was getting busier with Biggie and Craig and Total and 112 and and all that stuff. There must have been a lot of work on the table, and he was getting all the remixes. Were you just constantly just then busy, just working on a lot of bad boy stuff? Yeah, I was. I, I stayed pretty busy with um, with Puff when 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 in the early stages of Bad Boy. Of course, can't you see? And um, Method Man with Mary. Oh, um, you're all that I. You're all. Um... You all I need. That's that's. I did that. Um, I did a couple of records. Oh. Uh, there was during that period. So, if we go back to can't you see now? Who who starts? Who comes up with the the the, the, the sample, the, the 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 way the the beat and everything? Well, what happened was Puff came into the uh, studio one day with this beat. He said, "Hey man, could you could you lay something over this?" And I I started putting music to it. And that's how, next thing I know, it was a smash. And, and so, so what happens, so that, you know, when he, when he went, so he would come up with a, 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 did you know about, say, sampling, like, you know, a lot of the New Jack, you know, if I speak to some of the guys who were at Future, they would talk about getting a sample and then looping it and then cr cr building I, I, upon it. Yeah, earlier on, I was in a sample. Remember, I was a musician, so I so I didn't I didn't use samples. Like um, like on the My Life album, I think I, my songs were the only songs that didn't have samples. The you know um, that's not to to downplay anybody, any other people that were on the project, but I was I was into samples samples early on. I'm I'm still not. You know, I, I just use samples when they when it makes sense, or I create my own samples yeah. because because I'm able to you know I play the bass and play a little guitar, so I could you know I could create my own samples. Well, so, but the but you're saying that the um, can't you see that was was that free from any sample or was that um... that, that that was a James Brown sample, the big okay. payback. And uh, okay, so when he when he when they put that on, and I just went for broke. There was one okay. other that that I remember Puff was trying to. I'll never forget that. Oh my God, it's <laughs> hilarious. If Puff sees this, if Diddy sees this, he gonna remember it. like that melody. He tried to sing a melody to me, and I said, "What is he?" Like, <laughs> I have to figure it out. But I heard I'm I, I'm sure he's got a lot better since then. But he was singing this melody to me, this one, and it. So I had to I had to interpret what he was trying to tell me. You know what I'm saying? But it, it it all came out. It came out well, you know. Yeah, I mean, you know, when I spoke to Dark Child, he 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 talks about Puffy, and I think does he get enough credit as a producer? Um, as it is, because I think people see him as the front man, and they think he just, um, just does it. He 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 just puts his name on a record because he to make money from it. But does he get a credit as a, you know, having a vision of a song and how it should sound like, and then get other people to join in? Or what what what? what how would you describe being a producer yourself and working under working with him? Um. No, um, Puff. Now, did he? He he definitely was a producer. Um, maybe he wasn't a musician, but he heard, he heard, he knew what he wanted, and he, you know, he went after what he heard. And um, you can't. I would never take take his producer rights away from him because, you know, he he definitely had has an ear. And very has a vision, you know what I'm saying. A, good, a great producer always has a vision. Mm -hmm. If you're not an, um, a musician, you could still have a vision, and you can hire musicians to 
to do a job, and that's what Puff was. So when, I wouldn't take that away from him. He was a great producer.